In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily fix if your iPhone screen does not turn off automatically or when you press at the power button. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes. Let's get started guys and the first off we need to head over to settings. Then scroll down a bit until you find display and brightness. If your iPhone screen does not turn off automatically after a certain amount of time, it means that you need here to scroll down until you find Auto Lock feature and that's where we can configure after which amount of time our screen will be locked automatically. I recommend you to check that option because maybe in your case it is set to never. In this case your screen won't turn off automatically at all. I recommend you to set it to 30 seconds or 1 minute just like that. I prefer to keep it 3 minutes because I record videos all the time and I need more time for my screen to stay active. However guys, if you press at the power button and your screen doesn't turn off or sleep and it keeps showing you some information such as clock, uh, widgets, maybe notifications here and your wallpaper, it means that you need to configure the option which is called always on display. It is located right here at display and brightness settings. So guys, we need to uh, get in the always on display and that's where we can configure it. If you don't want to see notifications or maybe wallpaper when you lock your screen, you can easily turn off these features by toggling off that buttons and then if we turn off our screen, it will show us just a time widget and uh, that widget bar here. However, we can also completely turn off that feature by toggling off the button next to always on display. Now if I tap at power button, my iPhone screen will turn off. However guys, if a problem persists, I recommend you first of all to reboot your iPhone. The easiest way to do so is press at the same time volume up button located at the left edge of your device and the power button. Just press both of these buttons at once and hold them for about one second until uh, that screen appears and then just drag this slider to the very right and then lift off your finger to turn off your device. After that wait for 10, maybe 20 seconds. After that long press at the power button until Apple logo appears on the screen and then wait until your iPhone is loaded. If for some reason it doesn't help and you are still facing that problem, I recommend you to check for the latest software update. To do that we need to head over to settings. I'm gonna show you from the beginning. So first off we need to open up settings, scroll down a bit, tap at general and then tap at software update. If there is some update available you will find it here and I recommend you to tap at update now and then wait until it is installed on your iPhone. The latest iOS update may contain bug fixes that may be causing this problem. I hope that at least one of the solutions was helpful to you and if so, don't forget to like this video.